Hello everyone, I am Vishwajit and today I will talk about the security of sponge type encryption. Since its inception in 2007 by Bartoni et al, the sponge mode has turned out as a very popular encryption mode. The sponge mode here takes a message M and divides it into blocks of size R. We call R as the ray. It then starts with the B bit of zeros and sort the first message block of R bit with the upper part of the input zero and then sends the resulting output as the first primitive input. On getting the primitive output, it sorts the upper R bit of the primitive output with the next message block of R bits and sends the resulting B bits to the next primitive. Continuing in this way, all the messages works. If the size of M is not divisible by R, then it is made divisible by R by padding it appropriately. After the whole message is absorbed, it continues to call the primitives and takes the appropriate upper parts to generate Z. The popularity of sponge mode is evident from the fact that the Nisha competition had several sponge bed candidates. In fact, JH and Kechak were among the five finalists where Kechak became the eventual winner. The sponge based AE is known as the duplex mode. There were more than dozen submissions in the scissor competition, depending on sponge. Ascon is also a sponge type construction and was the winner of the lightweight application for the resource constraint. In the lightweight cases, the sponge is also getting attraction and it can be evident from the popularity of hash functions such as quark, photon, sponge nets, plis, and they are all sponge based constructions. Uh, the A schemes such as Ascon, Beetle, Spock, are also sponge based. In fact, the majority of niche submission for the lightweight cryptography competition are based on sponge paradigm. Let B be the permutation of the, that is the primitive size, state size and split it into C bit inner state called the capacity and R bit outer state, that is the rate. Then the dominating term present in all the existing analysis of duplex authenticated encryptions can be bounded by DT by 2 to the power C, where D is the data complexity and T is the time complexity. Now, in the NIST LWC call of submission, it is mentioned that the primary AE version should have data complexity of 2 to the power 50 minus 1 bytes, that is nearly 2 to the power 53 minus 1 bits, and time complexity of 2 to the power 112. So, in it, to achieve the required security, any traditional duplex type scheme must have capacity greater than 160 bits. All sponge based submission to NIST LWC standardization process uses 192 bit capacity except CLS, but there is no existing known proof for the scheme. The Beetle mode of AAD is a sponge type mode, which uses the feedback similar to the COFB mode. That is the absorption and the squeezing part is similar to the COFB mode, combined feedback mode. The existing security results on Beetle got rid of the DT by 2 to the power C term. However, it, uh, the most recent results provided integrity security up to dt less than 2 to the power b when t is much less than the minimum of 2 to the power c minus log r, 2 to the power r and 2 to the power b by 2. So when c is equal to r equal to half the state size, then close to c minus log r bit security has been achieved. Now NIST, according to NIST LWC requirements, we require close to 120 bit capacity and 120 bit rate to achieve this security. However, the secondary version of photon beetle submission has a rate of 32. So the existing security does not provide uh, the required result for the secondary version of the photon beetle submission. The Spock mode is also a submission for the NIST lightweight competition and there is no existing security analysis on the Spock mode. Now we construct a general sponge type encryption mode which he called the transformed and permute construction. We show that this transformed and permute construction of the TTP construction encompasses many known constructions such as beetles, pop, sponge duplex, etc. So let LE and L dash AD be linear functions. We define the LDI function in the following manner. With these definitions and some suitable encode function, we look at the TTP feedback function. Here, we call the primitive with the input x old 
and the output is sent as the input of LE. The LE output is then stored with the encoding of M and delta to get the new X. The applications of the delta and encode are to secure the construction from prefix based attacks. Exact definitions can be found in our paper. With this feedback function, we define the transform then per loop AED mode as follows. So on receiving nonce N, associate data A and message M, we first divide the associate data A into A1, A many small A many docs, A1, A2, A, A. Similarly, we divide the M message M into M many blocks, M1 up to MM. We set K concatenate N as the initial input to the primitive. And to that output, we run this L dash AD function to process the associate data. And to that output, we call the primitive again. And to the primitive output, now we start processing the message data with the help of LSE function. And after processing the all the messages, uh, we run the primitive once again and output the top tau bits of the primitive output as the tag. Now, we discuss about the security of the TTP mode in the ideal cipher model. The detail analysis can be found in the paper. Here we concentrate on the bad events due to the decryption query. So consider a decryption query, ni, ai, c star i, t star i. Let this query matches up to pi, many blocks, with some previous encryption query, so that the y star pi, and as such, x star pi plus one are known. Now suppose, with the help of primitive queries, we can extend this further to know x star pi dash plus one, and then make a primitive query to know y star pi dash plus one. Now, consider the following two bad events. First, p dash i is less than ti. But ti is the total number of associate data and message and x star pi dash plus one is again in the primitive transcript or the encryption transcript. Then we can further extend this chain. We call this a bad event. Another bad event, which we call embed, occurs if suppose pi dash equal to ti, that is, we reach at the end of the chain. Then if y star p dash i plus one is the tau upper bits is equal to t star i, then it is a valid for zero. Now to bound this embed, we define a new data structure, which we call the multi chain. We show that the probability of occurrence of embed is bounded by the adversary's ability to construct in this multi -chain. So let L be the set of P pair of UI VIs where each U1, U2 up to UT and V1 up to VT are B bit inputs and all UIs are different and all VIs are different. So this is necessary that U1, U2 up to UT are all distinct and V1, V2 up to VT are distinct. So we define the domain of L as the set u1 up to ut and the range of l as v1 up to vt. Now we define another l, a linear function l from b bits to b bits. So with this cursive l and small l, we define a graph where with the vertices, the range of l that is v1 up to vt and edges where there exists an edge of level x from vi to vj if and only if LVI, this linear function LVI, ZOR X is equal to UJ. 
to understand it better uh, consider the point b not and b1 so since b not l v not is or x1 uh, equal to u1 and then the after the primitive call it goes to v1 so we say that there exist a leveled edge from v not to v1 now given a tuple k tuple x1 up to xk where each xi are of b bits we say that there exists a level walk with level x if there exist v1 up to pk minus 1 such that there exist an edge between v0 of v1 of level x1 v1 to v2 of level x2 and continuing so vk minus 1 to vk of level x2 we call this level walk this x level walk as v0 x level walk vk and simply write it as v0 x vk now consider all possible chains v0 i x vk i for a given x now suppose those walks are w1 w2 up to wp such that the r most significant bit of u0 i is constant say some u for all the w1 w2 up to wp and the most significant tau bit of vk i is some v that is they are also equal so given a le level x of x1 up to xk we define the multi chain of length k to be all such k length chains which can be formed with all u's equal and all v's equal now given the all the multi chains for all level k let wk denote the maximum size of all possible multi chains of length k notice that if w1 up to wp is a multi chain then any subset of w1 up to wp is also a multi chain we consider the maximum possible size of the set w1 up to wp for a given x and then we check for every possible k tuple x and the maximum multi chain size is denoted by wk now consider an adversary a which interacts with the permutation pi t times let l denote the set of the transform so if it makes a forward query u and receives v then denote the transcript as u1 v1 dir i1 where dir i1 is positive plus similarly if it makes backward query of vt and gets ut then denote it by ut vt and minus where that is minus notice that given an l a can form a chain in the following three ways it makes only forward queries starting from u not v not plus and adaptively queries up to uk minus 1 vk minus 1 plus and then it calculates uk by applying l to vk minus 1 and then zor by xk and then it hopes that uk vk and plus is in l it can make the chain v not x vk in another way which is the reverse of the forward query that is all backward queries so in this case it starts with uk vk minus proceeds backwards adaptively and gets v not and then hopes that u not v not minus is in l finally it can pick some i and makes adaptive forward query starting from u not v not plus to get vi minus 1 and backward query starting from v uk vk minus to get ui and then it hopes that l vi minus 1 plus ui is equal to xi 
So in these three ways, it can form the chain V naught X V K. Now let mu t denote the maximum of the expected weighted size of all such possible multi chains that can be found by any adversary. Our next objective is to bound this mu t. So we consider the case where L is invertible. So in that case, the mu t can be bounded by m called t to the power tau plus m called t to the power r plus m called less t squared to the power b. Where m call denotes the expectation of the number of multi collisions. So this comes from the attacks by the adversary A of this sort. And the M call dash comes from the adversary's ability to make both forward queries and backward queries and then the expected number of collisions between the sum of the forward and backward queries. That is the number of possible collisions in the XI values. In the recent version of our paper, which is uploaded in the A print, we have shown that we can bound mu t for the cases where the rank of L is not exactly equal to B, that is L is not invertible, but the transcript cursive L is collapse free. So we define collapse as the probability of collision of the Lyi and Lyj for some distinct ij where the both calls are forward queries. So, and we say that the transcript, uh, set of transcript cursive L is collapse free if the collapse event does not occur. So in case of when the transcript set is collapse free, then we have that mu t is less than equal to mu call t to the power t to the power tau plus m call t to the power r plus m call widget t square to the power b rank l. Now this m call widget is similar to the m call dash here. The only difference is that it takes the input rank l so that uh, it uh, so that it can find the collision probability in zij where zij is L of pi xi zor pi inverse of yj. So it like in case of m call dash, uh, the zi was the collision between the zor of forward query and backward query. Here the collision is uh, zor over uh, the L function of the forward query and backward query. So when rank L is close to B, then m call widget is closely related to m call dash. For exact definitions and bounds, please check our latest imprint version of the paper. Now, with this new multi chain security game and the bound on mu t, we go back to the event embed in case of our transform then permute construction. More specifically, when for the ith decryption query, the x star pi and as such y star pi is known and hence the upper r bits of x star pi plus 1 is known due to some pre common prefix with some earlier encryption query. And then with the help of the primitive transcripts, we can extend the chain up to y star pi plus 1. That is we can complete the chain and the tau most significant bit of the y star pi plus 1 is actually the tag. That is we have a valid forgery. Clearly the chain y star pi plus 1 to y star ti plus 1 with uh, the labels uh, c star pi plus 1 up to c star mi belongs to this multi chain where the most significant r bits of each ui 0 is equal to the r most significant bit of x star pi plus 1. Similarly, the tau most significant bit of each dk is equal to actually t star i, that is the tag. Hence, we can bound the probability of occurrence of embed by the ability of the adversary to form such multi-chain. 
now since this length k can be anywhere between 1 and sigma d where sigma d is the total number of blocks in the decryption query we have the size of this multi chain that is the number of chains in this multi chain is bounded by mu qp sigma d where qp is the size of the primitive transcript again notice that if l is invertible then starting at any v naught there is exactly one unique chain in this multi chain since the r most significant bit of x star pi plus 1 and that is the r most significant bit of u naught i for each i is known hence to get the exact change we get need to guess the uh, least significant c bits of u naught i hence we conclude that for l is invert when l is invertible the probability of m bad is bounded by mu qp sigma d by 50 plus c when l is non invertible but uh, omega p is colas free then we have probability of embed is bounded by the minimum of these two expressions uh, the detailed calculation of this can be found in the latest version of our e print paper now using this bound for the probability of occurrence of embed we come to the following upper bound for the aed advantage of any adversary a which makes at most qp many primitive queries at most qe many encryption queries with total number of blocks less than equal to sigma e and qt many decryption queries with total number of decryption blocks less than equal to sigma d so this is our main result for the aed security of transform then permute construction in the case where le and ldi are both invertible using this it can be seen when spock is viewed as a ttp construction then we have le's identity and ld is defined by the mapping lxy goes to x comma x concatenate 0 to the power c minus r zor y where x is rbit input and y is a c bit input as a corollary of the our main theorem we derive the following bounds for both the 64 bit version the 64 bit red version and the 128 bit red version of spocks by plugging in the proper appropriate values, it can be seen that both the version of Spock are secured under the NIST prescribed security parameters. Now, when Beetel is viewed as a TTP construction, then we have the following expression for the LE and LDI functions, which are all linear. And hence, as a corollary of our theorem, we derive the following two bounds this bound for the AED security of Beetle in the case when C is greater than R and this is the bound for the case when C is equal to R. In case of photon Beetle, which is a slight variation of the original Beetle proposal, we have that rank of LD is actually equal to B minus 1. So LD is not invertible but it has rank close, very close to B and as such we derive the following bound for the photon beetle, photon beetle version uh, with the 128 rate and 32 rate using the proper bounds and from these bounds it can be seen that both the 32 bit rate and 128 bit rate versions of photon beetle satisfies the NIST prescribed security in case of sponge the rank of the ld function is actually equal to c which is much less than the state size b hence our mu estimate does not work in the case of sponge and hence we give the security bound of sponge in this following manner in terms of mu qp so in conclusion in this talk we got rid of the restrictions on rate which was required in the previous analysis of beetle we gave a new security analysis of spock we give a sponge like unified construction which encompasses many schemes such as beetle spock in fact, sponge duplex, the understanding of tight security analysis of sponge is still open since uh, there is no existing analysis on the proper estimate of mu qp. Thank you. Stay safe.